Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'll be doing something a little bit different. There'll be a time lapse of me painting a bird using watercolours while I talk to you about how I learnt to draw. So I always used to draw random things when I was little, just generic things like a cat or my garden. I was always happy whilst doing something arty or creative, whether it just be colouring in in a colouring book, drawing or messing around with those awful poster paints which smelt bad and always went crusty. When I did my GCSEs, I did both art and textiles both of which I really enjoyed, as it was something different to my other subjects, much more relaxing than maths or geography. I did a wide range of things from printmaking, still life and portraits. I'll insert a picture here of one of the first portraits I ever drew, and it's absolutely awful, as you can see it's just horrific. I never enjoyed drawing people, I could never get the proportions right, and I just found people generally quite boring to draw. I preferred drawing things more to do with nature, like flowers and I then carried on at school and I did A-level art and A-level textiles. I dropped out of textiles after the first year as I just did not like making clothes and things like that. I just preferred the design process and the drawing and sketching side of it. I even hid my dress from my textiles teacher at one point because I was so ashamed of it. I continued with A-level art, which I did enjoy, but it ended up being a love-hate relationship. I loved it because I loved being creative and drawing, but it was a lot of work, especially when we couldn't pick the exact topic we wanted to do our projects on, we had to follow the exam board's guidelines. One of my final pieces was a large sunflower painting, which I'll insert a picture of now. Um, at A level we had to do a lot of things to do with acrylic paint and things like that, and I just didn't enjoy it as much. I wish we could have picked out exactly what we wanted to do, exactly what we wanted to use, but unfortunately it wasn't really like that. After I left school, I went to university to study maths, as it was something I was very good at and I enjoyed a challenge, but after I graduated, it became clear to me that I just did not want to do a 9 till 5 maths related job and I became quite miserable. In January 2019, it was about a year or so after I'd graduated, I was scrolling through Instagram one evening in bed just casually. I came across a drawing of a cat someone had done using coloured pencils and I was absolutely amazed. I'd never even considered using coloured pencils before for drawing, and I was shocked at how realistic the drawing was. We did have coloured pencils at school, but they were the really cheap rubbish ones, we weren't allowed to use them in art, we could only use them for like geography posters and things like that. So despite not having drawn at all in the past four years, I was itching to give coloured pencils a go for myself. So the next day I sat down and I drew a cat using coloured pencils. I was so pleased with the result, but I knew I had a lot to improve on. I started watching YouTube tutorials and buying some decent artist quality co coloured pencils. I started off with the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. After I'd done a couple of drawings, I thought I'd make an Instagram account for my art. So many people were complimenting my work and m putting comments and likes and it really motivated me to keep going and to keep practising. Every weekend and most days after work, I would just draw and watch YouTube tutorials. Before I knew it, I was starting to do pet portraits for people, and I realised how people were actually paying for my art, which was crazy to me. I never thought in a million years that that would happen. I then branched out to use things like pastels, watercolour paints, and other mediums too, although coloured pencils will always hold the most special place in my heart. I'm using watercolour paints for this piece, but I'm not a pro with these by any means. I've only done a few pieces using watercolours, so I'm still definitely practising. So this is where I am now, working part-time in a shop and doing part-time art as well. I started this YouTube channel a few weeks ago in the hopes that I would help and inspire people to keep pursuing their love for art, or even just introduce people to the art world. So the main thing if you want to get better at drawing is just to keep practising and practising. It's also important to review your drawings afterwards and pick out the bits that you love and that you don't love and then figure out what to do differently next time. So for example, on the first ever cat that I drew, I didn't include any whiskers because I didn't realise that you couldn't put light coloured pencil on top of dark. So now I know to emboss the paper beforehand or there's many other techniques that you can try. Sometimes looking at other artists' work can make you feel bad about your own art, but you have to remember that once they were in your position, no one can magically draw amazingly, they would have put hours and hours of practice into it too like you would be now. 
If you scroll back to my first post on Instagram, you'll see that my drawings weren't at the same skill level as they are now. The link to my Instagram is in the description of the video. That would be the same with pretty much any artist, depending on what point within their journey they started posting on Instagram, of course. I also now print my artwork onto merchandise such as mugs, coasters, greetings, cards and all that kind of thing, which are available to purchase on my Etsy store. The link's also in the description for that if you're interested. I also hope to make myself a website at some point, hopefully this year. Then I can put all of my merchandise, art prints and original art on there for sale and also have all my pet portrait information on it, but that's something I'm going to be working on. So that's all I have to say for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just me chatting about my art story. Um, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And also if you'd like to see some of my other artwork, you can check out my Instagram, which is in the description below. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye.